uh, internet. Um, today uh, I'm gonna try to start a series of videos about the servicing the uh, scuba regulator. And uh, I have a Deep6 uh, regulator uh, and this is the open source regulator so you can get the kits and parts and the manual how to service it and also full support from the Deep6 which is very nice as I think that uh, everybody could actually just have to have a chance to uh, service your regulator it doesn't have to be through the dealer but if you choose so you, of course and you encourage to go to the dealership uh, to service it because um, they're saying it's a life support equipment uh, so it has to be done right but at the same uh, at the same time I think because it's a life support equipment uh, it's actually nice and good to you to learn yourself how to do it so you do it at you know who done it, so you, you did it yourself and uh, everything checked in place and you take all the care for your own life support equipment. So uh, I did it myself, so I'm gonna start with the second stage uh, servicing today. Um, so I got the manual from the Deep6 website, so you can download it from there. So here's the regulator. Um, don't worry uh, if you're not familiar with this type of configuration, so I do side mount diving. So this is my uh, right uh, long hose uh, side mount the regu regulator. So the first stage is also dip 6 and this is the, this is the one that we're gonna do today. So uh, really nice regulator, uh, simple, reliable, uh, very good quality, so I'm happy with that. So it's also really simple to service. So what we're gonna do today, uh, we're gonna do the disassembly and cleanup, and then in the next video, I'll put the assembly and adjustment. Okay, so there's a few videos on the internet that actually um, related to the servicing the scuba regulators. Um, and they all uh, serve the purpose. Uh, I found that there's really not much available in detail uh, with the narrative. So there's some videos that uh, people showing how to disassemble, but didn't show how to assemble. Uh, they're not speaking up. They're not really providing a lot of guidance. So I'll try to do it as, yeah, try to do it myself. And it's up to you to judge. So. It's up to you to follow or not follow. Um, you can ask all the questions down below. So yeah, anyway, so we should get started. Um, so first of all, <clears throat> I'm gonna disconnect it from the hose. Uh, before doing that, I'm gonna inspect the, the regulator, see if there's, if there's any visible cracks, uh, damage, or any dirt that we can take care of right now so it, everything looks okay so then I'll inspect the hose make sure there's no bulging cracking uh, anything suspicious so it looks okay um, so we're just gonna disconnect it from here So there is an O-ring inside here, I don't know if you can see that, yeah, there. So which I'm going to remove uh, and replace it because this is part of the service. Um, it's not part of the service kit though, but I have O-rings and I can replace it because I disconnected from the regulator from this part and make sure I'm not forgetting that so I'm gonna do it right now so make sure that you're using uh, right parts so and this is the brass pick uh, I'm using I'm not using the stainless um, because the brass uh, is not gonna scratch stainless steel so yeah so put it aside so and we're gonna put the put the holes aside as well so we don't need the first stage 
until we're gonna put everything back together. So uh, I'm gonna take the the leap guard. So really nice things. Uh, I think it's made by Aqualung, so it does not come with the regulator. So about the separate. So I, I dive like very cold water here in Canada. Uh, so this is really nice for the lips to keep them warm. Okay. So um, there's really nothing wrong with this regulator. So I haven't serviced it yet, but um, uh, it's about it's more than a year. So what I was doing, I was opening it, just washing it from inside. So but it's this venturi knob start kind of getting stiff. So I guess there's like a silt or dirt came under that and prevent them from moving freely. So we're gonna open. Uh, the cover, put it aside. Um, the diaphragm. So diaphragm um, come in the service kit. So this is, by the way, the service kit that you can get from the Dip6. So you just have to call them and get it. So it has everything in it. Um, I'm going to inspect the diaphragm and see if there's any holes. So I basically stretching it. Uh, and looking through it to the light and see if there's any holes there so if if it looks okay um so i'm not gonna replace it i'm just gonna wash it and uh, yeah it looks nice actually there's nothing wrong with that so put it here so <clears throat> and this next step is to remove the remove the mouse piece And actually inspect it. So it's a very good idea always to inspect the mouse piece around this area to make sure uh, it's not ripped or like I saw it myself or people or the, grabbing the, the regulator and the mouse piece stays in the mouse eh, but the regulator fall off so because they never check or maybe it was rental and not taken good care of so making sure all of this rubber uh, not damaged so it looks good so I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna wash it and clean it. Okay. So the next step is actually to take the, the heat sink uh, nut um, using the adjustment wrench. So there's a little bit of, cor of corrosion here, you can see. Um, so maybe soap will take care of that. But if not, parts that has some corrosion or salt deposits, I'm gonna put the sonicator and sonicate with 50-50% uh, uh, vinegar water, okay? So there is an O-ring here, like I don't know, you can see that. So don't worry about taking it off right now when we will be moving the barrel off so the o-ring will be easy to take so now we're going to depress the the demand lever and push the bar, uh, air barrel this direction and it will come out so very easy so now yeah there's a little bit of corrosion on this on here as well so not bad. So now we're gonna take the venturi off. Okay. So while we're here, you can see there's a salt deposit there around this o-ring, which we're gonna take off. And that's probably why it was actually moving not as freely as you would like to. Okay, so there's also a kind of gunk build up on this o-ring where the Venturi was actually sitting on. Yeah, I can see. Uh, so this is something we're going to take care of. Okay, yeah, and it's the barrel has salt deposit here. Okay, it's maybe not a corrosion, but 
so definitely needs to be taken care of so uh, yeah as I said this is the o-ring that we were uh, planning to take off so easy um, and this is the, the regulator body body so um, the exhaust valve is here so to uh, inspect it we're gonna take this cover off there's a little knob right here Oops. that we have to carefully depress and it will uh, the, the cover will come off so um, be very careful not to break it This is the knob I was talking about. Okay, that's also for cleaning. And so this is our exhaust exhaust valve. So we're going to inspect it. And I don't want to take it off because it's not part of the kit, but you can definitely buy it if you have damaged one. Um, but I'm just going to check if it's all look okay, and it does. So I'm going to keep it here. But when I'll be washing the whole body, I'll just lift it up and wash under it, make sure. It take care of the silt and sand that might be there so yeah that's it so put it aside so now we add uh, our um, air barrel which is assembled so demand lever um, so what we're gonna do now uh, we're not gonna worry about this o-ring We'll take it off when whole things will be disassembled. So it's much easier than actually trying to wiggle it around. So keep it in. So um, we're going to take the adjustment knob off and it's holding place by this metal pin. So to take this pin off, so you have to kind of release the knob a little bit and the pin will just fall off. So it's, it's easy. Okay. So, and then uh, what we're gonna do is gonna take it off. And when, when you will notice when you're taking it off, the demand lever will lose that, that its tension. That's it. So there's no tension in it. So look at the corrosion on the uh, on the thread. So and then we're gonna also take this o-ring off. So in a, in a garage, uh, it's minus five uh, outside. So my heater is coming on and off. So this is what we're hearing on the background. So the heater goes. Okay. So we're just gonna sonicate that probably. Uh, well, okay. So now uh, we're gonna carefully take the demand lever off. So. Um, we, we, we want to try not to bend it too much so you have to kind of uh, pull uh, these things off like that Let's see and the whole uh, piston and um, the low pressure seat, mainspring and uh, um, balancing cylinder so it came off so it was sitting there like this okay. so it came off because we released the, the demand lever so basically it works pretty simple so when uh, it's actually sitting there like uh, like this in, inside of the in, inside of the air barrel, and when we inhale, um, the diaphragm moving in, pressing on the demand lever, demand lever moving, pushing to the pushing on the on the piston, the piston moves out and open opens the the airflow. And you get a brace in so then you're bracing out so the everything came back 
so the seat goes against the this adjustment artifice that inside there so we're just gonna take it off too uh, and yeah the airflow is stopped so we're gonna take off the balance cylinder main spring piston and we're gonna remove the low pressure seat because we will be probably replacing it because it's part of the service kit okay so now we can take this o-ring off So we're almost there. So now we have to take the 5mm hex uh, Allen key and go in and screw the adjustment orifice from inside here. See? At some point we have to push it out. It's gonna be held there by the another O-ring. So. so yeah, that's your adjustment orifice, and it also has some signs of cor uh, corrosion in it. And we're gonna take this O-ring off as well. On the piston, there is two small O-rings at the end in the part of the kit, so we have to make sure we take those one two off before cleaning. Okay. They're tiny, they're very small, yeah. and the second one. There you go. Now it completes our disassembly. So see you at the washing station. Thank you. Well, here we are at the cleaning station. Um, this is the distilled water I'm using. So you can use uh, the top water, but I just want to do an extra, uh, be an extra cautious and uh, get the distilled water. Put some of the soap here, which is um, natural, uh, no sand, no uh, coloring, uh, no dyeing. So this is all like natural soap that I'm using. <laughs> so yeah, that's the that's the one. Yeah, uh, happy allergic. So this is good for the regulator. Uh, cruelty free, and vegan. So well, we know that uh, no animals were actually injured or killed for this process, which is really nice. So now we're just going to put stuff in. Make sure everything gets in. Yep. And we'll be starting washing it. Certain things will be going to the sonicator. And, uh, Yeah, so we're going to make sure all these uh, openings and crevices are get cleaned uh, for any yeah, side. The thread where the cover coat goes, so there's no sand here uh, or any silt. Okay. So this is nylon brush, so nothing metal, please. So just to make sure. So and surround our exhaust valve so we're gonna lift it 
and make sure we clean under under the exhaust valve too. Yeah, there. This side and this side. So we're gonna give it a really good bus. So and uh, yeah, so there's really not much about this. I'm gonna spend a lot of time, so I'm probably just gonna uh, stop the video and come back when, when I'll be ready for the Sonicator. Okay. Okay. Um, I washed it with the soap, uh, distilled water. I uh, actually used some uh, warm distilled water and soap. Then I drained it and uh, rinsed it with the uh, some fresh water and then rinse it with distilled water. Make sure the soap is gone. So the plastic and rubber parts uh, we're putting for for drying. Uh, they done. So everything end up nicely. So cleaned everywhere. So there's no soap residue. Yeah. So all the plastic, plastic. So yeah, this looks nice. Yeah, pretty clean. So we left with the parts that see this corrosion here. I don't know how to. Yeah, right there. Yeah, it's still there. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna put it in a, a Sonicator, a ultrasonic bus. Somebody call it Sonic bus. So uh, I'm just gonna show you where it's. So this is where where it's sitting. Yeah. So I put the uh, 50, 50 um, uh, vinegar uh, water solution. So I use the household uh, vinegar, uh, pure white. Uh, please guys, don't use any balsamic or apple cider vinegar uh, or like, uh, yeah, olive oil uh, dressing, anything like this. So just, uh, just a pure white. Um, so that's actually better for our regulator. Okay, uh, we'll put it in the bus and uh, set it uh, well, maybe five minutes. Uh, don't use it for too long because it tends to uh, rip off also and take off the um, metal plating from the metal parts. So just a, just a little bit. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so we set it for five minutes. Thank you.